So the first step in my process is usually taking off the last set that I had on. I have had these Kiss Gel Fantasy nails on for close to three weeks and they have worn extremely well. I haven't had a single one of them try to pop off or lift. They're just literally growing out. And I'm taking them out here so you can see how much I actually change the shape of the nails to fit how I would like them to look on me. I never leave them as is from the package. I also have to change the sizes on some of them to make them fit just perfect on my nails. Um, so here I'm taking out some cotton. I'm gonna soak it in acetone and wrap my fingers up with that cotton ball and um, acetone and foil and let it soak. I usually do the cotton ball and acetone on one hand and then the other because I can't wrap them without a free hand. <laughs> I never have a I never miss the nail technologist as much as I miss them during this step because this is really hard to do to yourself. Even if you had somebody in your life that would do this for you, that would make it way easier because it's really tricky. Like the thumb is usually the easiest one to do because I have most of my fingers free still and it still is a struggle bus to get that on there. So I just go through and do all my fingers. Lather, rinse, repeat, do the other side and peel off those nails. So that's what my nails underneath look. You can see that they've grown out quite a bit underneath. So I go about now giving myself a regular manicure. So I soak my nails, I do cuticle care, I push them back, I trim them, I buff out my nail surface, all the steps of a regular manicure, aside from kind of the final moisturizing steps, because I want to get my nail bed nice and dry for when I put on the new set of nails. So I very carefully do a nice manicure. So now my fingernails are ready to put my new nails on. So I'm gonna start that process now. So I'm choosing another KISS set. I loved these when I saw them on the shelf. They're like a Halloween special collection. Um, so I'm going to open them up and start picking out the sizes that will work best for me. I have very small hands, so I can actually get a lot of mileage out of a package of nails because my fingernails are so small that most of the nails are too big for me. So I can change that by filing and clipping and changing them as I want. So I can get more sets than not out of a set of fake nails. So there's always more nails behind. So I just go through and I try to figure out which ones are gonna fit the best and I go through that for all 10 fingers. So just, this is kind of the, one of the fussiest parts of the steps is going through and figuring out which ones would be best. And I also have to kind of design what look I'm gonna go for because there'll be a couple that are sparkly and a couple that are plain and a couple that are decorated one way and the other. And you can make it really chaotic and not have your hands match if you wanted to, but I like symmetry so I always make my hands match. Now here I am using like a nail bed cleanser that I have. It's probably very close to just rubbing alcohol. So just dehydrate my nail bed, get any oils off of there. And then while those dry, I am filing each of the nails that I picked out to make them fit my hands perfectly. These are the thumbnails. You can see how much I had to change them to make them fit. And unfortunately, while I was doing that with the second nail, I ripped it. So later you'll see in the video, I don't have a spider web nail on both my thumbs because I messed up the one I had, which happens. You gotta be okay to roll with it. So I used just a plain one on one of my thumbs. So now I'm getting on to the gluing step. So I put some glue on and then I press the nail onto the 
nail, you do have to make sure you put it on straight. It's really easy to put them on crooked. So I kind of press it down good and then pop back and look at it, make sure it's straight. And then when I know that it's in the right spot, I do all of the pressing. And I press for a long time. I left this clip in unedited so that you could see how much pressing I do on each nail to make sure that all the edges are stuck down and that it's gonna last. So it's a lot. And sometimes, you could, oof, see there, I got my finger, my finger stuck to the nail because there's a little bit of glue spilling through. I haven't quite perfected how much glue I put on to make sure it doesn't kind of ooze through when I'm pressing on it. So once in a while I get a little bit of that, but not too bad this time, I'm getting better at it. So you can see it took all of this time to get that thumbnail on. So it's quite a long time. It's one of the more time consuming parts of the whole process is just making sure that you press those nails on really good. So here it is sped up. I'm gonna do all of my nails. So there they are. And that's before they're gonna be filed down to the right shape. I want you to see how long they are. Their talons really, and that's just too long. I type. I can't have fingernails like that. So I will trim them down and I will file them into more of like an almond shape from there. So I'm putting the next hand's nails aside so I have space and I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna clip the nails to take some length off of them and then I'm going to file them to make them just the shape I want. And you can see that I use a combination of my file, my regular hand files, and as well as an electric drill file to shape them. I'm not as precise with the drill yet. I'm a little clumsy with it still. I'm still learning how to use it. So I use it to buzz off greater amounts and then I use it the real fine shaping with a regular file. So there's some of them done. I got, a, I think my index finger is done there and I'm gonna continue on to get it all finished up with the other ones. Here's the side by side on the untrimmed, unshaped nails versus the shaped. So you can really see what a difference there is between the two sides. And then like magic, they are all done. All of them shaped to match. rhinestones onto the designs to just kind of jazz them up especially the plain gray nails those are very boring so I'm going to add some more stones to make it a little more fancy
and that's them with their new fancy extra rhinestones. So I customized them a little bit. I just used the neon glue as the adhesive for the rhinestones, which is a little fussy, but it worked out okay. And the last step is just putting some cuticle oil. This is solar oil from Creatives onto my cuticles to get them hydrated. And this is the finished set, all done. Ready to celebrate Halloween all month long with these fancy fingernails. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.